Hi Marty and welcome back to Marty's World. So today I present you the follow-up video from last week and last week's we figured out how to build a heads or tails machine for two players where the players can bet as much as they want and just a coin flip will decide which player wins it all. And if you want to see that video first make sure to click the link in the info card section or in the video description. But uh, other than that let's directly dive into this video. So what do I present you today? So we have here, of course, two nice coins displayed in the front where we have heads or tails, of course, but I just made it, I just didn't want to make it just a heads or tails. Heads or tails would just involve one dropper, which is 50-50 uh, configured. And I didn't want to make it that easy for me to build this machine. So I just made something very special. And honestly, the idea was uh, from Siri, like the AI Siri from Apple. And sometimes the coin, if you flip it, if you say, hey Siri, flip a coin, usually you get heads or tails, of course, but there's a small percentage that the coin either lands in some kind of uh, area where you can't get it anymore, or it also can land on its side. And that's why I just placed here the side option as well. So we have heads, tails, or the side. And of course, I also displayed here the chances to win this. Uh, we have 47.5% for each heads or tails and 5% chance to get the coin on its side. And I will present it to you, for example, let's say the coin will land on its side. So I picked the middle. Of course, it was heads. Yeah, doesn't matter. Let's try tails now. Let's do that one more time. Yes, I won. So I get two diamonds back. So that's how this machine works. And what this side uh, option basically also does for you as a casino owner it enables that you make a profit out of it otherwise if you only had heads or tails as an outcome you would get 50% uh, heads 50% tails of course so in the end over a very long period of time if people just bet heads or tails you will make no profit as a casino owner but with this 1 in 20 chance to get the side of the coin it enables you to really profit out of that machine. So it, it's really server friendly, it's it's multiplayer friendly, single player friendly. You can build it on any server where you have an economy, for example, or where you want to trade with players. This option enables you to make a slight profit on this machine, which is around 5%, of course. And if someone like wants to go, hey, I'm, I'm getting the side of the coin and he doesn't get it, you make one diamond profit, of course. <laughs> so that's also a very nice option. And as always, this video will be structured into two parts, where in the first part I will explain the circuits to you, what every circuit does, and in the second part we will build it together block by block so you can build it in your single player or multiplayer world, doesn't matter if it's Bedrock or Java, it will work in all versions of Minecraft. So of course, we start here at the input section, so our inputs are here at the bottom. We have here three of them and we have the uh, hoppers basically configured in a very classical mode. So we have one currency item, it can be whatever you want, diamond, dirt, netherite, whatever. 18 secretly named items and three secretly named items in a slot. And that enables us to get an output if we insert one more diamond on this block here. So if for example I use the heads or tails or the middle, the side, we transfer the corresponding wooden X to the dropper on the other side therefore activating a comparator here. And by doing so, we transfer the signal upwards and we power the indicator lamps that are right here and we can see what we locked in. Next up, as we do that, uh, we will also trigger this orange line here that triggers the green circuit. And the green circuit is where all the magic happens. That's our brain of the casino. That's where we decide if it's the 50-50 or the 4.8 chance. So the 50-50 chance, of course, is a non-stackable item, the wooden X and a stackable one. Doesn't matter which item you put in there, just needs to be stackable. And by doing so, we have here an OR gate. So we have either the left output or the right one, not both of them. So if I can show you that, for example, now we got the right output. Now we got the left output. So very lucky for this 50-50 um, showcase. We get either the left one or the right one. And those split up to the left torch and the right torches and they form the end gate on the top. So if we close the end gate, if we bet correctly and the casino gets us the correct output, we bet in advance, we will close the end gate, as I said, and therefore triggering the gray circuit. And the gray circuit is where we get here down to this observer and this observer will trigger two times. And by doing so, it will get us two of those nice diamonds. So. 
that's the payout for the 50 50 uh, percent chance if you use head or tails but if you chose to do the side of the coin we have here a 14.2 percent dropper which looks like this in the configuration so six stackable items one non-stackable one and a 33.3 which is one non-stackable and two stackable ones and in total if you multiply the two chances you get 4.8 percent and i just round it up to five percent that's why we have here this uh, kind of 47.5 47.5 and five percent odds in total and by doing so if this um stole if this wooden x and the other wooden x gets transferred we can reach this repeater here therefore closing uh, or basically powering this pulse extender triggering this piston downwards and this piston here downwards and by doing so we remove the ability to transfer the signal so if this block was if I, if I can show it to you if the blocks are down we cannot transfer the signals anymore from the 50 50 gate that is here and we power this 50 50 gate each time so we have to be faster with the right circuit so the right circuit just in the right time intercepts the left one so we don't get the output from the 50 50 gate and that's how the uh, basically side of the coin circuit works and by closing this we power the um we power the torch here we torch up in the middle and if we close the end gate on the top which is here we can power a different circuit the dark gray one and that's where we get 20 items and i know it's a little bit confusing what the redstone is doing here that's why i placed in this circuit right here and the circuit just gives you 20 items exactly so not one single more or less just 20 items and it does so but basically repeating this configuration here what I placed here so if we press this button we get a total of 20 items yeah I had one in my inventory so yeah but here are 20 missing if I uh, yeah there are 44 now there were 46 in there uh, 64 in there so that's the payout for the uh, side of the coin and with that said I already explained each circuit to you and each line uh, the last thing, yeah, I didn't cover the magenta line. The magenta line is just a collection or an end gate of all the different outputs. So we have here the middle one, which is here. We have the outer ones, which are here, and they all are combined in an end gate. They just reset everything. So they just transfer the axes that get transferred on the start back into their uh, starting droppers. And that's simply what they do not that complicated just resets everything and yeah one thing left here is the, the profit chest that's what the profits are you could even recycle those profits with a hopper line that turns around here and goes all the way to this uh, dropper if it would be one block uh, deeper in the ground and just a block up on top or a glass block on top you could uh, make this in loop system so you have all the diamonds that the customers put in already in your dropper here that gives out the payments that would um, basically skip the part where you as a casino owner have to come here to, uh, like every now and then and refill this uh, payment dropper and also empty your profit chest so that would just make it a little bit more convenient for you as an owner but now let's get directly into the block by block tutorial welcome to the block by block tutorial so i pre-built a section here so don't be scared and we want to start with a platform that is exactly 7 by 17 so 17 in this direction 7 in that direction and the seventh block is right here so on the eighth block there would be the wall on the seventh block there's this column and we have here the wall that is two four six seven blocks high as well and then we have this uh, basically eight high frame of quartz column that encases or encloses everything we have here this custom banners which are yellow uh, with heads and tails and you can pause the video at any point to build these two coins the hoppers and also the frames the lamps and the signs same goes for the uh, for the platform where you stand on just two blocks uh, away from the hoppers there is this dropper with some diamonds in there that's where your payments are made to the customers and here we have also this uh, signs with heads tails inside so with that explained we go to the back now and you can see here very well that the hoppers are either facing forward or backward but not uh downwards that's that's that you, that you have to prevent it or sideways you need to face them in to this direction or into that direction not in any other one and with that said we can now um where's the sea lanterns 
can now place here some sea lanterns here as well and a gold block in the middle for the side. And we just uh, place here some smooth quartz because that's blocks we can see from the... Um, yeah, if we look very carefully, we can see through. So um, now we can then place in here some comparators that look like this. And we can also place in here three redstone torches that should look like that. Then we're gonna have here repeaters and two blocks and some redstone dust like this. Yeah, you can also fill in those blocks. Now we go to the front and put in each of those hoppers one diamond and 18 of those uh, filler items and three in the other slots. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Another diamond and another diamond. And same goes for the other droppers. So 16, 18, 3 there, 1, 2, 3. Same goes for that. Um, so we have 1, 2, 3, like this. Perfect. Now we go to the back and grab those hoppers. And we just want to make sure we have here 1, 2, 3. And we have a chest where all the hoppers will meet up in the end like that. And if we place one more item into one of those hoppers in the front, so doesn't matter, just put in one diamond, it should end up in this chest here. Nice. Um, with that done, we can now add the pistons. They should look like this. And we can also already add some orange wool. Here will be some orange wool with some redstone on top. And here on the bottom, we will just add this kind of configuration with some droppers facing into each other. And in the first row, we just put any non-stackable item. It doesn't matter what it is. And from here on, we just add some comparators some torches and we just torch up like this and at some point we will torch like that and then we just add a platform and here we're gonna add repeaters that are configured in this pattern and some redstone dust in between that's where now everything is stored as a signal if we chose heads, tails or the side. So next up we want to add in here a line that looks like this. And we want to add in here a green line with a piston. Here two tick repeater, two trick repeater and a redstone dust. Then we have one, two, three with uh, three redstone dust here. And we want to add here a dropper, there a dropper two um, hoppers and composters to prevent lag. You can use any other block, of course. And here we're gonna configure 50-50. So that's our 50-50% dropper. And here is our first dropper that should have one, two, three, four, five, six different items in there. Comparator, one piece of redstone, another piece of redstone. And here we're gonna configure another hopper dropper system with a 33% chance that should look like this and another comparator right here another comparator right there here we're gonna have two pieces of redstone two repeaters which this one is set to two ticks then we need a sticky piston we need more blocks over here with a redstone there and we're gonna use repeater repeater and another repeater here. Now we have we need some pistons again, which the first one will be right here. So if it's, if it's extended, it will get an output from this repeater. Same goes for the other one. That should look like this, like so. And I'm very sorry for that, but we have to um, replace this piston here with a piece of redstone. Repeater set to four ticks and a piece of piston right here. So that's how it should look like. I'm very sorry for that. And here we're gonna use 
a stair down approach like that. And then we're gonna have here repeater set to four ticks like so. And for these uh, redstone torches, we have here a redstone torch. We should also have here some redstone torches with some uh, blocks on top. And of course, we should have here in the middle some redstone torches that should look like this finally and by the way these two needs to be off these all need to be on so that's why we have to place in here two more redstone torches like this they need to be on as well so uh, now we want to get our heads or tails outputs and we need the first output to be into this torch and the second output to be into that torch over there and the first output of course can be done much easier by just placing it right here so that will uh, disable that torch if the output gets uh, triggered and then we need to go all the way down around like this, that's our second output. So if those blocks from the pistons are extended, we can get the signal through. So next up, we want to build the pulse extender here. So we just add ourselves here a three by three platform. We have here a comparator, there a comparator. We have here a torch and this torch will power this uh, redstone and this torch here on the bottom will just transfer the signal right to this torch to the last output and here we also gonna need to power those pistons and we are gonna do that like so so we're gonna have here a repeater here a repeater ah sorry like this should look like this perfect so if for some reason we get a very lucky chance and hit the five percent we can it powers that uh, that system and we get only the middle output for a little longer with this pulse extender next up we want to connect those lamps on the top so we're gonna do that by adding right here two come on two lines of green wool like this and we have here a row of green wool and we have here another line like that. So we have now this alternating repeater pattern, but here are two repeaters in the start. And then we're gonna have just repeater and another, and we have to extend it one more block <laughs> like that. Very sorry for that. And then we already can configure our end gates. So that's where the end gates are. So we have here the first one. And here we have the second one, that's our outputs and we just combine them like this and we should get in the end back down to our dropper here where we have uh, two uh, tick three tick repeater, very sorry for that, and an observer facing into that uh, three tick repeater. So that's where we should get the line. So, and we just block down. Now we count backwards. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And yeah, so a repeater here should do the trick. Now we're fine. Next up, we're going to do the output uh, here from the top, which is also an end gate. We can later on combine this output here with the machinery we place in here on the bottom. And we want to do so by adding in here an observer, like that, there an observer, um, here an observer, here a sticky piston, so they should face each other at some point. And here we're gonna have a three tick repeater. Then we want to add in right here a circuit that looks like that. We have here a comparator. We're gonna have here a comparator, here two pieces of redstone, a repeater set to four tick, repeater set to one tick, two pieces of redstone. Then we're gonna have repeater set to four ticks, repeater set to two ticks. Then we're gonna run a redstone line right across like this. And here we're gonna use a sticky piston with uh, one repeater right here. And now we just block our way up to where I told you to connect the lines like this. So you're gonna have here, here repeater. You're gonna have 
now counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's fine and we can of course remove the supporting blocks like this so now let's uh, use the magenta line as our last line and we also need some green wool so now we need to wire all the green circuits to the top which is right here uh, since if we win we need um, to power the middle line like this so we're gonna do it like that perfectly um, now we need to get in here a repeater uh, their repeater we set into four ticks we want to come on why did I drop down we want to combine those two lines in an end gate like this and we also want to combine it with the middle line like that and now we want to go down to this line here so let's do that two three four six seven does that work out no it does not ah, of course it does like this so now we would have to count it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we would run out of uh, redstone signal strength so that's why we place in here repeater there a block and we can remove the supporting blocks like this but i want to add some note blocks first which should end up right here in the middle like right there with a very uh, high pitch and if we win just the normal diamond, we can just place a note block right here. That's also fine. So, and I'm very sorry for that, but I missed two redstone torches here at the, bo at the, at the back. Uh, make sure to place those in, they are really important. And the second mistake I made is uh, here we have butt powering in Java. It doesn't matter if you're in bedrock, then you can skip this part. But in Java, unfortunately, we need to place in here repeater, here repeater. Uh, here repeater and here repeater to prevent such things from happening <laughs> and we of course want to back add in this redstone I punched out at some point and put this repeater here to one tick so now let's test the side version or the side option we should get now the side here for 100% nice and we should get 20 diamonds it should bring us all the way up to 43 let's test it nice perfect so everything is working make sure to put those back so one two three four five six items in the first one and two items stackable ones in the second one so make sure to do this and now your casino is completely ready for your first customers and yeah with that said <laughs> thanks for watching as always i hope you liked my videos and if you do so make sure to like and subscribe and uh, consider maybe to become a patreon member and with that said, thanks for watching again. You're really rocking it. Make sure to suggest more videos. I really like your suggestions. I try my best to build them. And with that said, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.